Well, good morning from a truly breathtaking winter wonderland that is the Highlands of Scotland. Well done. That is absolutely incredible. As he nearly falls off the mountain. So after an arduous hike in the snow, myself and my friend Nev have made it up to this beautiful mountain summit into the highlands of Scotland. We're just above the valley of Glencoe. It's cold, it's probably about minus seven right now, although I'm still hot from the hike, so I've uh, delayed. But it, yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking. We've made it just in time, 15 minutes before sunrise, to shoot this lovely pre-dawn light, or pre-sunrise light, should I say. <sighs> Truly phenomenal. The first shot I saw when I got here, and the one I immediately got my camera prepped and ready to shoot, is a panoramic this mountain range here. I'm rushing a little bit. I'm not rushing with my photography, I'm rushing with the filming because this is only going to look good now for five, ten minutes. Um, it's probably going to look pretty good when the sun comes up. As soon as the sun rises and comes above the horizon, uh, the light's going to be very harsh. We have not a cloud in the sky, 360 panoramic views. It's truly, truly phenomenal. It was a hard hike, about two hours, two and a half hours in the dark worth every step. So it's cold, it's really cold when you stand still hiking up, it was, uh, felt like, you know, felt like we're in a, in a desert, <laughs> but as soon as you're up here, stop moving, soon gets cold. So my second composition, I feel, I feel a lot calmer now that I've got the panel, I've got that in the can, you can see the light catching the peaks behind me, I'm hoping to get that next, 
but very quickly and that's the way it is we because we, there's no clouds the light goes very quickly so you have limited shooting time so I, I am moving quickly so this video may feel rushed but the second composition that I'm photographing is nice and simple and I'm just shooting this peak here and that's on the left of my frame no pano just a, a simple straight shot no filters and just over to the right of this peak sorry just over to the right from this peak to here this is Buckle Etive Moor so this is the famous peak in Glencoe and you can see down in the valley here see that's all mist beautiful low-lying mist so I've just got a nice shot with this mountain here which is on the left third of the frame and then you can see down into the mist beyond to the mountains in the distance they're actually also just starting to catch the light this is perfect and then we just we don't have Buccalative Moor in shot, just the ridge line, just to add that context and act as a, as a blocker, you know, a frame, um, an anchor, I suppose, to stop your eye wandering out of the shot. But I guess just lovely and simple, always being careful to check my histogram, not blow out the highlights, F11, focusing on the mountain, the prominent mountain, which is my main subject. I have a cable release, and that's it. I'm just, you know, the summit of this mountain that we're on probably has a diameter of 20 meters. So it's a very small area, which means we just have 360 pano views and uh, wow, shots everywhere. Look at this now, guys. It's all starting to light up. You see that just over my right shoulder? All catching, right? I'll get this shot and uh, We'll move on again. Wow, this is like a, a bounty of photography, a bounty of images. Here we go. We've got a bit of light in the in the distance here, just catching the hills are just catching. This is really nice. All right, let's get the shot. There we go. Jobs are good. In. Moving on. I hate to break it to you guys, but it's gonna be another panel. Third image and another panel. And it's just we have light on the hills over here and you can see us oh, probably better if you look that way. See that, dead simple. I don't know if this one's gonna work. This is the image I'm least certain about, but you know, I'm gonna throw on the long lens. I'm shooting it at 200 mil. So, you know, with this tripod head, it's a good chance this isn't gonna come out, but it's such a lovely scene. I just wanna see if I can grab it quickly, cause yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous!
So Nev here was on one of my workshops in the Lake District last year and uh, he lives full time in a camper van and I was pulling up last night at the place where I was sleeping and bumped into Nev, couldn't believe it. I think every everyone in a camper van has come up to Scotland for the snow. So we had a, a drink and a chat last night and uh, yeah, he was up for coming up here which is fantastic and considering that how long ago was it you broke your back? July. In July, broke his back, and now he's up here doing this and photography. That is, uh, that is commendable, definitely. Um, so yeah, he's got a YouTube channel. Go and check it out. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Actually, am I going to do it? The light's a bit harsh. No, I'm not going to do it. I was considering reshooting my first pano, because now we're getting light on the hills, but this side of the pano, you see this big patch of uh, snow here, these mountains, that is very harsh and I think it would be unbalanced in the panel. So 10 minutes ago it looked good, but I was too busy shooting over here. Uh, I guess that's the problem with coming somewhere like this is there's too much to shoot. You can run around like a headless chicken. But yeah, this is glorious. I've got, I've got three images now. The light is harsh and it's getting harsher. So because there's no clouds, you know, it's beautiful pre-sunrise and then you get about 10 minutes after sunrise half an hour after sunrise it's all over you know I mean you suppose you could shoot high contrast black and white stuff which is would be really nice um, but I always struggle and find that uh, find that I've just spotted another composition <laughs> the lights changing so fast that compositions seem to come and go so that shot that I just shot before the pano and the shot that I did previous to that, which was a straight shot looking over and down the valley towards the buckle. I'm actually going to do, I'm going to combine those two shots now and do a pano because here we have this peak, prominent peak, and I think just to the right and just to the left of the peak seems quite evenly, evenly lit in the background. So I'm going to shoot this quickly. I've got to level my tripod uh, and then do it. everything. You've got to work so fast when it's like this. Like I say, I can't. I'm going to keep apologising for this video being all over the place, but it's just the way it is. I'm pretty much shooting everything at f11, so I don't need to keep repeat, repeating myself with settings. Um, and level tripod, f11, focus to infinity. Take your time. That's the, uh, the order of the day. So let's uh, shoot pano number three, image number four. So, we set off at about 5.30 this morning. We had a wonderful time, a great hike up. Fantastic photo shoot. Felt rushed, but always the case in the morning with blue skies. And now we've packed away and we're gonna make our way all the way back down into the valley there. It's been phenomenal. And yeah, really looking forward to the hike down. Should be good.
So if anybody is interested, got some statistics here on my watch, I'll tell you. So I didn't stop recording this, so the time's a bit off, but we've been out three hours, 56, uh, sorry, two hours, 56 minutes, and total ascent from the car park, 1,879 feet. So yeah, as well, whoa. <laughs> if you want three and 360 degree panoramic views, this is a great place to come. But it's not a walk in the park. It's a, it's a bit of a climb. But anything worth doing is not easy. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful morning hike that me and Nev have done. And uh, tune in next time. Yeah, so until then, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.